So in discussing the Wheel of Fortune, Zayash Pil Zayavim, this person God lowers and this person God lifts up. Right now we're talking about uh, wealth. So he said there's a certain amount of, of wealth. What do you mean there's a certain amount of wealth? The Bitcoin can go up and up and up. So this is what we said in terms of gold. That as the redemption, as the coming of Mashiach gets closer, the time when gold will be used for its proper purpose is also getting closer to be used for the construction of the third, the third temple. So this is, in a way, increasing the value. Now when we say, does that necessarily mean that the, the value of gold increases? So that's not necessarily. But it could, be, could, could relate, but it could also not relate. Our inner appreciation of gold, for sure, is, is increasing. We're, we're anticipating the, the use of it, the use of it for the proper purpose. So how does it relate to the value of it? So again, who assigns the value? So he said that Moses decides who instructs God, Moshe Ish HaLokim, the Moshe, the man of God, is, is instructing that uh, this person should uh, today should be at the top of the wheel of fortune, right? But who is the maven? Uh, who is the maven of apportioning out wealth? So that's Joseph. So what do we have? We had uh, the seven years of plenty, and then the seven years of famine. So there were storehouses of grain. So imagine conceptually that the the grain is a currency. And that, People gave every, everything they had in order to have grain. That was, that was the most precious commodity was grain. But there was a certain amount. And as the time went on and on, the, the value of that currency, of that grain, kept on going up and up, supply and demand. Until the Egyptians, they, 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 they sold themselves. They, they, they had no choice. Everything else they gave, and then they saw themselves. So There's all through a divine plan that, uh, that the Egyptians shouldn't say that the Jewish people are, are are these foreigners because Joseph moved around the Egyptians themselves within Egypt into into different different areas within Egypt. So that when his his brothers and and, and their children and and his father, when they came, when they came to settle in Egypt, that uh, they shouldn't be viewed as foreigners, because all of Egypt was disp dispersed. So, so again, think think about this. That we have that Pharaoh called Yosef, called Joseph, Saf Safnach. Paneach, Safnat Paneach, the knower of the revealer of that which is hidden. So there's some secret of being able to govern a, a currency to, to, to both in order to store it and apportion it over time in the proper way. And to know to know its true worth, like in a monetary sense, a currency, so, and like real in the real world application we're talking about. This is Joseph was uh, was given the charge of 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 portioning out in order that people should have, and knowing what to ask for when what they should what people should give at certain times. So there was seven years of famine, so there was stage after stage after stage of what, what 
that people were able to give, and then, then ultimately, just at the edge again, they, they, they sell themselves. So when Moshe went out of Egypt with the Jewish people on the way to receive the Torah, he took the bones of Joseph. It says, Atmos Yosef, the, the essence. Bones is also, means essence. The essence, of, what does that mean? So Joseph was an Ish Matzleach, a successful person. So Moses was, was starting this new endeavor, the Jewish people, Jewish nation, receiving the Torah. It should, should be with, with success. So who, who is the, the person, the successful person in the Torah? Ish Matzleach? That's, that's Joseph. So he took with, so it literally it means he took, he took and he, he buried in Shechem, the city of Shechem, the uh, Joseph, and we have Kever, jo, Kever Yosef, the, the tomb of Joseph. But, but what? The, the inner meaning of that is, he, is that to, whenever, a, this, this, this is a very important endeavor was, was began, so it should be with success. So we, we said that, that Moses is instructing God and this this and this person should be wealthy, this 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 is to portion out. But who decides the value of the currency? Who decides in order the, the practical application of, of the, the value of it? So we can say maybe this is Joseph. So we say that the gold, so there's a certain amount of gold, just we don't necessarily know where all of it is. They said, they say the, the story that's brought is maybe there'll be a meteor of gold one day. They'll discover a meteor of gold. Well, if, if you have a meteor of gold, it's a lot of gold. Maybe the value of gold will go down. So we're saying now that, that uh, Joseph has a sense for that. He has a sense for, for all. It's all in the storehouse. Okay, we didn't discover it yet. Maybe there'll be another gold rush somewhere. This, this, this is again, this is the, through the, the inside, the foresight, the, the knower of the hidden of Joseph until that God instructs him that, uh, in order that it should be properly dispersed and, and properly educated in terms of the the, the value the valuation of the currency at every given moment so again this was this is a, this is a question before that I didn't, didn't have time to explain before what does it mean that that uh, currency there's a certain a certain amount of currency that uh, maybe maybe currency can you have this uh, virtual coin, it can, can key, keep on going up and up and up, right? So again, the person that uh, is, is, has, has a good, the best grasp of, of that, of the actual value of, of, a, of, a, of a grain, of a piece, that's Joseph.